Good morning Scrappy Peeps, it's Helen here with another video for Hey Little Magpie. Uh, I am creating a layout today with approximately 45 wax seals. Um, I did quite a few of them at home and then took my wax seal things and scrapping things to a crop last Saturday. Um, I'm here creating one of the 15mm uh, wax seals and then pouring a large puddle of wax to press that then into. Um, just showing you there, I'm using two or three different colours and creating that seal. You can see off to the side um, with multicolours. Okay, so I've done like a little pool of the gold wax to create the 15mm and then I've done a pool of the multicoloured wax there um, to then create, to push, I've just pushed the smaller seal into the larger puddle, just making sure I'm only touching the 15mm seal that's already been created um, so I don't burn my fingers. So I'm using here lots of different seals, I've used the same uh, collection of waxes, I think it was fruit salad. And I've also used the gemstones collection for the gold bits. Um, and I've used lots of different techniques. So some of them are just using the four beads and, and creating the seal as is. Some of them is, is what I've showed you in my last Hey Little Magpie video, where I have stamped uh, the seal and then cut around the main part of it. Um, some is showing what Sam Sweetlove showed in her um, video a couple of weeks ago where you're mixing two different colours and you're creating that marbled look on the seal and then I've got those ones that I was just showing you there with uh, creating the 15mm seal and pushing into another uh, pool of wax to make it into a one inch seal. Um, this layout is inspired by something I saw on Instagram and I can't remember the name of the person. I'm really sorry if I do um, find it I will um, mention who it was but it was the they'd done a layout where the background was just one inch punched circles from scraps and I thought, oh, I can do that with wax seals. That would look really good with wax seals as my background. So that meant 49 wax seals, um, minus the ones from behind the photo, uh, which is about two, four, about six. So that's what, 43 wax seals. Um, so it took me a couple of hours to do these. And it is just a case of little production line. Uh, you don't need more than one spoon, but I... I had my spare spoons going to swap them over. Um, a couple of the, sp the seals there, I've put some epoxy flare in. So these are the Hey Little Magpie um, printables where I've punched out the one inch little icons along the bottom and used the naked flare over them and put them into the seals that have been created with the, the one inch blank seal. So just going through now, what I want is a piece of red to back the photo and I want it to be a red that's similar to the kind of mid red on the page. So I'm going through different collections that I had with me at the crop. So this is Warrington crop last Saturday and I'm really not happy with the reds that I found in the collections I had brought with me. And a really lovely lady from further along the table, this is what I love about crops, saw me looking for a piece of red. I'm not happy with what I had and brought over a pile of red card that she had with her at different shades. So I found one I liked. I was looking something really that, that went with where it says firehouse on the pet photo. It's kind of, you know, similar to some of the reds on the waxes as well. So, uh, yeah, I got this red card from lady walking past and I'm happy now with something to back my photo the photo is myself and mr ding with my sister and brother-in-law at our favorite restaurant in or mine and mr ding's favorite restaurant that we introduced them to this night in saint ives a couple of weeks ago it's called the firehouse if you're ever in saint ives or if you live down that way i highly recommend 
you popping in. So St Ives in Cornwall. So um, yeah, this is after we'd eaten and we'd just come out and having a quick selfie outside. There's no room really on this page for journaling. I've left no room, I should say, for journaling. So there is a picture of a selfie of us inside eating. Um, so I am going to do kind of like a companion page and put the journaling on there. There's quite a bit to tell about this night because it was chucking it down when we got to the when we got to St Ives and we parked up and had to duck into a doorway for my brother-in-law to then pay for the parking. So and then we ran down and oh, I had a drink in a pub opposite before going into the restaurant. So there's a little bit to tell about it. Um, just putting the wax seals back got mixed bit me messed up whilst I was going through the papers so got everything back in line there and I'm going to start sticking them down now this is me pulling everything out of my bag trying to find those pens that are in that little plastic bag that I've just put down but I've not noticed they're in there and I'm still going through the trolley there I go I noticed them now I wanted to highlight the patterns on some of them uh, some of the wax seals so that's why I was getting that those pens out um so i have stuck all of the wax seals down now no i've not i'm about to stick all the wax seals down before i start embellishing and come back after i've done that and forget to press record so here we are i have and to put in the epoxy flare I'm now colouring up some of the patterns on the wax seals and you can see I've got main character energy out on top of my trimmer there to, um, to start embellishing the page so yeah just going over some of those designs with the gold pen I there is one that I do do in gold and I think oh, I should have done that one in silver I can't remember which one it was now but I think it would have looked better silver so just touching up the gold on the camera there because I don't think it come up so well oh here we go I'm doing the hemlock in silver so I do do a couple in silver so there is a mix I just wanted to be a mix of the, all the different techniques that I've shown and you know Sam's shown this is before she did the glitter one the other day. Now I'm going to be embellishing the layout, just cutting off the corners of that frame. Two reasons. One, you're not going to see that bit. And two, because that's where the adhesive was and I couldn't carry it under any further. Um, so yeah, and I cut out a big chunk of this journaling card because I do want it to go under as a layer and need it to get around the adhesive it's going around. I do use the other bit that I've cut off in the other corner so I end up cutting more off that to get that under the other corner and cut a bit off that tag to get that under as well around the adhesive. Got all these bits that can be used elsewhere and look there I'm using the other bit of the tag there up at the top with a that's the other bit of the frame that I've put up at the top with that tag and I do just kind of mess about a bit to get it where I like it and how I like it. I'm going to go through some of the embellishments now to, to see if there's anything else to add. I really don't do much more to this and I am almost finished. Please, if you're not already subscribed to the Hey Little Magpie channel, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. The interaction really helps with YouTube showing people we're here. And check out the other members of the creative team that share videos here on YouTube. I'll also put the Insta link in the com in the description as well for you to check out the members of the creative team that, that share on Insta as well. Um, thanks so much for watching. As I said, just a few little embell more embellishments to add here from the stickers and then we will be done. Um, yeah, almost there. There's a little bit more of the video left than I thought. Oh, well, <laughs> started wrapping up too soon. <laughs> so it's not, there really isn't much left. Um, I do, don't put, um, yeah, I don't put title on it. And that really is done now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.